Hey yo, what is up? Uh, Mia Hill Z. Uh, this is the AMBT uh, tank that debuted 10 months ago, sometime in February, as a under the hammer tank. And now it is a, a loot box tank for 2023 holiday ops. And uh, we'll talk about it. I played it 10 months ago, like I said, and it was compared to a Progetto. When I initially got it, I was kind of uh, interested in it and I was looking forward to it being kind of like a good performing tank. It has a lot of pros, but it also have a lot of, has a lot of cons. So we'll talk about it today. Uh, the pros, 360 Alpha and compared to a uh, Progetto, which is also an auto loader, uh, auto reloader, I'm um, sorry. Um, the Progetto 240 Alpha, this one 360 Alpha. So this will do 1080 damage over 6 seconds, while the Progetto will do 720 damage over 4 seconds with that unloading that 3 clip. Uh, the other pro on this tank is the high penetration. Stock shells 215 uh, penetration and both are APCR, the stock shell and the premium shells, both APCR 215 penetration versus the Progetto 212 penetration, slightly better uh, penetration and then your premium penetration also APCR 278 versus the Progetto's 259. So you get big alpha, uh, high penetrating gun, but it almost uh stops there uh because this tank has an aim time that is inferior to a projecto 2.59 seconds versus a projecto 2.01 seconds uh and um I want to say the turret armor is also a pro, also an advantage because it's supposed to have a uh, pretty good turret armor, 250 turret armor versus a Progetto only 80. Um, but this turret armor in my experience is not really good because anything can pen you uh, apart from, you know, if they're shooting and you're mantlet, then you know, they're not going to pen. But from the side of your mantlet on your top of your uh, top of your turret, they're gonna pen you pretty much almost all the time in my experience anyway i don't think the armor is very useful now i'm in this position where i can hull down and use my little bit of camo the camo is actually a little bit better than a projecto it is reliable as you can see i'm being i'm, I'm shooting and uh, not getting spotted most of the time uh but yeah we need to talk a little bit about weaknesses as well uh it has a really slow reload um the once you've uh, the, the first shell reload if you fire just one shot your first shell is going to reload at 11.51 seconds if you were a Progetto you reload in 6.9 seconds now um, in in this configuration I'm reloading at 10.3 seconds if I just fire uh, a single shot and then wait for my reload but if I unload my entire clip my first shell from empty is going to take 16 seconds to reload my first shell and this is where uh, the weakness of this gun is it cannot be uh, a brawler uh, it has to be a second line support tank now if you look at the game we are down 1200 hit points and down two tanks um, and in this situation you can see that my team we can only hold the zero line we cannot advance we cannot attack because we don't have the numbers uh, we have SU-130s at the back supporting these guys so we are outnumbered and we are outgunned uh, the best we can do is actually just keep on holding on at the zero line and hope that our team on the 1-2 line can advance and uh, do a little bit uh, more damage now if you look at our team uh, it does not look good at the moment our ST Emil is at the base camping at the back uh, he should be out in uh, together with closer to our uh, tanks up north a tiger 2 and su 130 pm if he was closer supporting them they could have advanced that one two line and uh, we could have done a lot better that way because it is very evident and clear down the zero line uh, me the um, 703 and the iron arnie uh, we can't push forward we can only hold um in fact 
our 703 is already dead. Our Iron Army has no HP. I've got to leave that position. Now, I'm not running away. I am going to this rock as a secondary fallback position. Why am I doing this? If you take a look at the map, the SU-130PM has already climbed the hill. Now, me taking this rock position means I am taking that SU-130PM out of the game. He has no no shot on me if i stayed in my old position he could have poked and shoot at me while i am trying to focus down this is3 or the black prince so when i fall back to this rock position here it cuts out any opportunity for that su 130 pm so essentially i don't have to deal with the su 130 pm i can just focus on the is3 and the black prince now you can see up north the t29 and IKV is the only two tanks left. They've got to fight off the uh, Panther and the T20 and the, S the T29 is now dead, which leaves the IKV-90 all by himself. The Panther and the T20 is going to push and that IKV is dead. Now the ST Emil is falling back and going even deeper back into base as he should. Uh, he should have pushed forward a lot earlier and helped out our team when there was a bigger opportunity but that opportunity is now long gone uh, this looks like a very difficult game to win it is definitely going to be a losing game what i can do right now is i can fall back and help my emil back at the base or i can stay here and try to farm as much damage as possible either way uh it is not looking good for any any of us it isn't looking good for me even if i fall back i might not have the time to make a difference and me staying here i could potentially kill off the black prince which i do and the is3 which i do and then perhaps try to shoot a su-130 pm out here in the front and i spot him but he's fallen back i could probably chase him but now the su-130 pm is flanking us at the back so i'm gonna try and um do some damage on him now i've got su-130 pms left and right i have three shells but the scorpion g is also there he gets a shot out at me and i miss him at this distance because i have a 0.36 dispersion and a terrible 0.20 moving dispersion i'm waiting for my reload before i i shoot uh, this su-130 pm my reload comes and then i finish him off and then uh, I have one more shell ready here. I'm going to shoot him again and then try to get into the dip here, a lower ground and wait for my 16 seconds to reload and see if I can um, get the killing shot off him. Because of this reload, it's very difficult for me to be competitive and uh, try to, uh, you know, even attempt to... Uh, win a 1v5 or a 1v4 it's really difficult uh, because the first you know from an empty clip it's going to take me 16 seconds to reload uh, if i don't have any kind of skills it's going to take me 18.22 seconds which is ridiculous that's what makes this tank very hard to be a brawler to be an aggressive tank it can only be a second line supportive tank just because that reload takes so long uh, you can't make use of your dpm and that is the main issue of the ambt other than that the 360 alpha is amazing the high penetration is amazing you could theoretically fire just standard shells and make a lot of credits um but you know this game is time sensitive you've got five six minutes to make a difference in your regular games and you know this is not the world of tanks of olden days where you have eight minutes ten minutes to turn the game around this is a fast quick paced game nowadays uh, and you really need to reload quickly and make the best out of it anyway hope you got some useful information uh kuzonom and keshup talaka zunk i'll see you on the next video bye, -bye.